you say there? I want a story. Just hear that. Where I get a story at? Didn't I tell you three last night? Go away. Just one? Honey, you ain't right. I got something else to do besides just telling tales to you. down like you was then. You see, high-toned boys makes high-toned men. Once there was an old black bear. He used to live around here somewhere in a cave. He was so big, he could carry off a pig just like you picks a chicken up or your littlest bit of pup. He had two great big eyes. Out of saucer size. Now they looked like balls of fire jumping around on a wire when that bear was mad. And lo, you ought to have seen his paws. Have you saw him? Have I saw him? Now, how do you spell? I'm going to recollect this here yarn I was trying to spin <laughs> if you keep on putting in. <laughs> Now you sit still without a peep. Listen, I'm going to send you off to sleep. Now this here bath, you see, he'd go tromping around, eating everything he found. No one couldn't have a farm without that bear would do him harm, and they couldn't catch this thing. Anyway, he wanted to tramp there, the scoundrel, he'd make his track, he'd do his dirt, and then he'd come on back. He was such a sly old limb, traps just like fun to him. Now, down near where Mr. Bad lived, you see, there was a weasel there. But they weren't friends at all, because the weasel, he's so small. And the bad, just for sass, turned his nose up. Now, the weasel is small, of course, but oh my. You see, that man angles the slide. So this one says, says he, I'm going to fix that bear, you see. So he fixes up his plan, goes and hunts up the farmer man. Now, when the farmer see the weasel come, he commences looking mighty glum, and he catches up a stick. But the weasel speaks up quick and says, hold on, Mr. Farmer Man. I just want to explain a little plan. If you wait, I'll tell you where and just how to catch old bear. But you must give me one fat chicken first. <laughs> well, that farmer man, he scratches his head and as he says, I'm going to make the trade. So the weasel, weasel hit his hand, he smacks his lips and he says, well then, Set your trap and your bait tonight. And I'm gonna catch Mr. Bear, all right. Then he ups and goes to see Mr. Bear and says, says he, Well, friend Bear, now we ain't been friends. But tonight, hard feeling ends. If you ain't too proud to steal, we can get us a splendid meal. Now, of course, I wouldn't come to you. But it must be done by two. It's a trap. Beat all their tricks and get me. Well, of course I'm with. 
witcher, says the bear. <coughs> Come on, you little weasel. You just show me where. Well, they traps along. Cause that damn meat begin to smell in the trap. <coughs> then the weasel say, you put your paw in the same way. Me, I hold the spring back. So just grab the meat and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bear, he had to grin when he put that big paw in. Then he juked up, but Kameen, weasel, and let go of the spring. There now, says the weasel, there, I done caught you, Mr. Bear. Oh, that bear did snort and spout, trying his bestest to get out. But the weasel said, goodbye. A weasel small, but weasel sly. Then he turned his back and run. He went and told the farmer what he'd done. The farmer come down there 